Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. Today I have another unboxing, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail. This is kind, half of a fail. Let's just say half of a fail. Maybe two thirds of a fail. I don't know. <laughs> um, but as you have tuned into my channel or maybe you found me via all of the different indie brands that I review, I like to go out and explore what kind of different uh, indie bag brands that are out there and of course spend my own money. Sometimes uh, brands do send me pieces to review and I always to make sure to give you an honest review. So let's uh, take a look at this new brand and what worked out and what didn't. So let's just get right into it. I did do a review of this particular brand back in the day in one of my first indie bag review collections. So I'll link that video for you if you haven't checked it out. I do go into a little bit more detail about this particular brand, which is called Looks Like Summer. I thought it was a fun kind of uh, play on the title and bag brand name. And this is basically a company that is in Portugal. The website itself is a little misleading if you watch my original video because I thought these bags were produced in Portugal and kind of makes sense, right? If you are, Por Portugal is kind of known for, you know, craftsmanship as well as leather and at a very cheap or cost effective way of producing bags. But I did find out that these bags were actually made in China. Again, you know I don't have any issues when it comes to bags being produced in China or Vietnam, as long as the quality is good, right? So let me just kind of show you the first bag. This is the Aussie bag that I purchased from Looks Like Summer. I haven't used it yet. I did receive it a while back and I just haven't had time to, you know, do a full review as well as start using the bag because there's other shiny things that have caught my attention <laughs> that I, I gravitated towards. But overall, this one is actually a really cute bag. And you can see this is kind of a top handle and then it comes with a long strap. This is made of leather and they do attach a piece in, of the leather that they use. And what I love about this Aussie bag, this is the mini one, I think they also have a bigger version, is this top handle right here. It's in gold. And I thought that was just a very, very special way of designing the bag. And then of course at the bottom, you've got a feet. So basically it's like asymmetrical right here. If I can show you, it's asymmetrical down at the bottom here and there's a nice curvature and part of how to balance out the bag and how it stands up is going to be with this little feet right here. Isn't that cool? I thought this was a very unique design. So normally I would show you like the box that comes in and the dust bag. I don't know what I did with the dust bag, but it was horrible. I prefer if they didn't even include a dust bag. It is one of those cheapy ones that feels plasticky and then it just feels paper. I like tossed it out immediately, but it was terrible. Um, and then of course it didn't come in a box. Like talk about making things super economic. The whole entire user experience is not great. Like every time you open a box, you're like, oh, a brand new bag. It's got a nice dust bag, right? Everything comes in a package and you, 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 you feel really luxurious with this. This is, this is not it. Honestly, at the end of the day, what matters is having the actual bag itself. And if you don't really care about like, you know, it came in one of these, right? You see the Aussie and then it was packaged in, in this <laughs> and then it was packaged in like an Amazon kind of style bag. And that's how they ship it to you. Now, obviously this is well protected. So the bag came great. It didn't have you know, any dents or dings or anything. So it was well packaged. It's just not that luxurious experience you might be looking for. So just be aware of that if that if that's something important to you. So overall, this particular bag, the, the smooth skin leather is really soft. They did a really nice job with the glazing. If you can see here, the glazing. Is it is it a luxurious bag? No, but it's a fun design and what you are actually paying for probably in my opinion, if you want to add this to your collection, is the fun design that comes along with it. And then you can see, of course, the glazing again, they did a really nice job. And then when you open it, oh, here's the dust bag I was looking for and I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, so this is the dust bag that it came in. Look at how shitty this is. I'm sorry, please don't include this. I'd rather you not include one of these, but it's just like, what is this? It's terrible, throw it away. And then the interior 
is pretty cool. It does come with a little pouch. The hardware, is it Louis Vuitton quality? Is it whatever? No, but it works pretty well. The zipper is pretty good. And then you can put your cards in here if you like. The interior, oh, you can also unhook it, right? And then you can see the gold hardware. It's like a brushed gold hardware. I wish that the hardware color does match with the top handle, but I'm not gonna, you know, cry about it or anything. But you can detach the little leather pouch, which again, the glazing is actually really nice. And then in the interior, look at this. How you close the bag is with this um, magnets, with these magnets that are built in, so you just snap it closed. And it's actually pretty nice. The bag itself doesn't really smell like leather, which I found kind of interesting. So I don't know if it's how they processed it or not, whatnot. But then the interior, you can see it's like a bucket bag where you reach your hand in, you grab all your stuff. You can fit a phone in here. You can fit your wallet in here. You can fit your keys in here. So all of your essentials can fit in there and then some. If you want to fit in a water bottle, you could definitely, you know, stand it up. You don't want to have it fall flat. So it, it is pretty spacious and roomy. And then the interior is going to be this micro fiber suede, which is just, like I said, fabric. So it's not gonna be leather interior. But overall, I thought this was a really cute bag. It's pretty high quality. And for the price of what it is, I think it's a great summer bag for you to kind of just use. Is it gonna last you 10, 20 years like a Chanel bag? No, this is a fun bag if you want to use it for, you know, going to the beach, if you wanna go it. I mean, it's kind of a statement piece, right? And it does come with a number of different colors. So I chose the white creamy one, which again, it feels really nice for how much it is. I think it's like $150. And then usually they have some coupons. I'll make sure to put the links down below so you can easily access it. And then the strap itself is adjustable and it comes with one, two, three, four, five different holes. So you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. It is pretty compact in terms of size, so you can wear it as a crossbody and it's not gonna stick out and be very bulky. So I think this is a really cute option. So that is the first bag that I got. I'll let you know what it looks like in the wear and tear and whatnot. And then they also have it in different prints like mock croc. So I think that's a really cool option if you like that style. I got it in the smooth leather. So overall, pretty happy with this bag. Um, super cute, I like it. All right, before I get into the second bag, let me show you how atrocious this thing is. So apparently they also made jewelry. Look at this box and then can you hear it? The disaster that's in here. So basically they got a regular box and then they just got one of these stickers for LLS and just like slap it on top of it. They really don't know how to do packaging at all. Um, so I got these earrings. I forget what they're called, but I will show you a screenshot. Look at how pretty the screenshot is. You could think that, oh, it's going to come nicely. No, it's like one of those in Pinterest, um, memes or just memes in general, where it's like Pinterest, this is how you make it. And then when you try to make it like a DIY, it's just a complete dis <laughs> disaster. And that's what this is. Do not recommend zero out of 10 when it comes to this one. Um, so yeah, I opened it up and this is what it looks like. So this is the piece that actually did not break. And it does come with a little, you know, backing of the earring. And then it looks like this. This is the cheapest thing I've ever seen. It does not look like the picture whatsoever. What is this? So that's the first piece that's not broken. Look at the other piece. It's in pieces when it got here. It broke. This is one of the earrings that I would literally just be wearing. And then an hour later, it's like, oh, I have no earrings. Uh, where to go? No idea. So you can see this particular piece. It broke off. Let me just try to show it without dropping it. It, it literally broke off. And this just looks like someone spray painted it. Look at how awful that is. And for the price that they're charging, I'm just like, really, dude? That is awful. I wouldn't even pay $2 for this. You could go to the dollar store and find something better than this. So that's just a complete fail. And luckily, I reached out to them saying, hey, uh, it showed up like this in like six different pieces. They, Im they immediately refunded me. So zero out of 10. And while we're on the sub subject of jewelry, let me show you something that actually is a good quality, right? So when it comes to open, if you saw my review on opens bag that they sent me, I did a quick review on that. They were supposed to send me a jewelry and it didn't show up in the same box. It actually showed up a week later with no tracking number and showed up on my doorstep. 
And they use the same dust bag, which is like massive for this tiny little thing. And then they also sent it in their regular box. Apparently they made boxes one size fit all, even when it's a jewelry piece like this. But when they, they recently just launched their jewelry collection and I thought it was gorgeous. So if you see, comes with a nice box. You see the difference? The difference between these two, what is this? And then what is this? <laughs> so anyways, you open it up and these earrings come in this really cool packaging. They had a, a sticker on here so that if you peel it off, it says void, meaning that somebody has worn it. So that's like a security, maybe for sanitary reasons. But how cool is this? I, I've never seen this before. So um, you just push it and open it. And it's, it's this like flexible plastic thing that keeps your jewelry intact. So I got these um, earrings. I'll make sure to do a screenshot for you from their website. And these are gold vermil, where it's plated in gold heart or gold in gold, I guess. And what's really cool, if you can see this, it's a modular design. So what you can do is wear it like this as more of a statement piece. And then if you want, you can actually open it up and then wear it like a stud. It's kind of cool, right? I'll include my shots so you're not getting up and close, up close and personal with my pores and zits that's happening on my face right now. But yeah, and then you could tell the difference in terms of the quality. Again, I am actually really enjoying exploring all of these indie brands and seeing what kind of quality they can offer you for jewelry that doesn't break the bank. Now, obviously these are not cheap, but I think for, oh, it says open in the back right here as well, if you can see that. But I feel like we always don't have to go to big luxury like Cartier or, you know, VCA or anything like that to discover really fun pieces. So I really appreciate uh, Open for sending me these uh, earrings for me to try out. I'm excited to try these. All right, let's go on to the second bag that I got from Looks Like Summer. Oh my God, this is, this is interesting. Let's take a look. So I purchased the Gia, 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 is it what it's called? There's no tags, bag. I thought this was super cute in terms of the design and the silhouette. But when I opened it, it was, like, I don't even know what this is. Is this plastic? Is it leather? I can't tell. It doesn't smell like leather. And the quality is just, the craftsmanship is okay. The quality of this material is pretty terrible. This feels like paper. It also feels like cardboard. I don't know how else to describe it, but I would definitely not purchase this particular bag but just to show you kind of the ins and outs of this you can see that this is maybe i'm just like super picky about how it is maybe it is leather but what's interesting is that they included a leather piece on here as a sample but they didn't do it for this one what you do is open it with a little wooden piece right here and then the interior oh, of course this shitty dust bag once again the interior is actually pretty well designed. So you've got your top handle and your shoulder strap, and then you've got an interior pocket right there. It's hard to see the sun setting here. Um, it is magnetic, so it's pretty convenient. And then you've got a compartment right there and then another compartment right there. So how much stuff you can fit in here? I don't think you can fit a lot. I was hoping that this piece in the middle, the middle compartment with the little pocket. Oh, actually I lied. I just found this. They have it tucked away so they do include okay I don't what is this I, I I don't understand this so is this leather so they're claiming this is leather but I would say this is like the lowest quality leather you could possibly find and then they embossed it for this print and then the back just feels like cloth so I don't know I have questions about this um yeah so I also was looking at the big one, but I feel like the big one is just way too big. But again, like I said, the construction about this, like if the stitchings are great, the glazing is great. I just don't like the leather. Maybe that's a personal preference. The color is really pretty. And then if you look on their website, they actually released a lot of really fun prints. So if you want a bag that is 
just fun. Nothing like, oh, I'm going to keep this in my, in my, you know, purse collection and then pass it down to my kids. You're not going to get any of that. But it is a fun bag for you to wear. I, I think that you could probably wear this for a couple years. And this is in like the baby blue color. They do have a lot of neutrals. They have a lot of fun colors. So if you want to test this out, definitely I would go with this bag over this bag. But if you want to buy two and just see which one you like better, maybe you want to buy this for your teenager. You know, it's not that expensive and they want something that's a little bit different from like the Kate Spade or the Tory Burch. And they, they've got style, fashion. They got fashion, right? Um, maybe they will be interested in this. I think this is a great starter bag that is completely different and the design is actually pretty cool. So I'll link everything down below for you, but I just want to do a quick unboxing and show you like, hey, some of the new options that are out there that are not going to break the bank. And if you have found me via the indie bag collection brands and videos, I hope that you'll stick around. Check out some of the other videos I've released. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell. Um, I do do these reviews so that we can just focus on a little bit more on the indie brands that are doing great stuff. And of course, you know, not always look at big luxury. So life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less than retail. I'll see you all next time.